Hey everybody, welcome back. Perkman here again for another great product review. I was in this old kitchen the other day and I thought, you know what, I'd like to update this thing, get rid of this 4x4 ceramic tile, but I really don't want to have the big hassle of destroying my kitchen one and the big mess in time. So I went on Amazon.com, clicked around, and I found something I think you're going to like. These are the 12x12 peel and stick back splash tiles from Art3D. Now they come in numerous uh, styles and colors. Go into art3d.com and check out their full inventory. They got some really neat looking products. I'm going to attempt to transform this old, outdated 4x4 ceramic tile into a work of art. All right? Now, these were, these were retailed for $25.99 on Amazon.com, like I said, and that's for a box of six. Now, six will do about 5.5 square feet, so that'll help you out there. And they're very flexible, very elegant, and I'm really curious to see how this is going to turn out. So let's get started. Now before we get started, I'm going to show you a list of everything you're going to need to make this project complete. Alright, number one, a box cutter and or a pair of scissors for cutting. Straight edge, metal ruler or a level, I prefer a level for this job myself, so we have a clean straight line. And of course a pencil for doing all your marking. And let's see, household cleaner, spray under walls, make sure they're good and clean before you start this project. Cutting board. You can surface cut on any size you want as long as it fits your tiles fit on it. Tape measure, of course. A small piece of plastic or a credit card to help smooth out when you're putting your tiles on. Okay. And let's see, nice clean dry cloth and a screwdriver. Okay, now step one, first thing you want to do is before you clean your walls, you want to take all your outlet plates off, okay? I've already unscrewed all of mine. So once you get all your plates off, now you're ready to clean your walls. It is recommended by R3D that you clean your walls very good, let them have plenty of time to dry before attempting to put on these peel and stick tiles. Also, if you're using a painted wall, you guys, you can see we got a 4x4 tile, we're doing these over today, and we've cleaned them ahead of time, got the plate covers off. So if you have a painted wall, you might want to make sure it's clean good, one, and second, uh, possibly sand it real lightly so that the, the tiles will stick better. They recommend that if it doesn't stick very good, get you a can of spray adhesive, put a little bit on there. I'm sure everything will work out fine then. So, okay, I'm gonna clean these walls and then we're gonna get started. Okay, now for step number two, installation. You wanna start in the corner. Now, with your first piece, you'll see how the tabs are like right here. You wanna cut those tabs off to give it a flush edge like this one to start in your corner. Because, you see how the tabs are right here? Your next piece, those tabs, will fit right like that to complete your brick look. So that's really important. So our first step is to get our tape measure up. These are 12 by 12s, so we want to measure up 12, and then 12 a couple more spots. Alright, there we go. Now, once you have your line established, you just wear it. We want to cut these tabs off, like I mentioned. So we're going to line up with this. We're going to line up with the brick right here. These inside bricks with your straight edge, right on that line. You'll take your box cutter or your scissors, whichever one you prefer. start your first piece, they say, is do not pull off the whole backing at once. Pull off about a third to almost half to start with when you stick that on. Then you can simply keep pulling the exterior back, I'll show you, and that piece should go on there flush. Okay, now don't forget to peel back a third or about a halfway when you start on your first one. So let's get started. Right in the corner down there, and start right there. Line the line there. So we put it down here on the edge. Pull the rest of your backing off like that. Alright, it seems to have stuck really nice. It went down completely much flatter than I thought it would. And this still has the protective coating on the outside, so 
So now you can peel that piece off and go with your next piece. All right, here we go. So now for our next piece, it should just lap right over on your spots. Right here, and we will make sure of that this one tight. That looks pretty good. Again, pull away your backing back here, hold this. Go ahead and go with our third piece. We do have an outlet coming up, as you can see. First thing we're going to do is going to take a Okay, so as you can see, we got our first row up. Looks pretty good. Wasn't too bad. A couple little minor bubbles you gotta work out, but all in all, pretty, really, really pretty good. I, I think it's pretty neat. Okay, now to finish off the top of your wall, simply do as we did in step one. Take your tape measure, pencil, uh, measure your, your depth there, how high it is, cut your pieces, and fit them in, just like that. So let's measure this first piece. According to how square your cabinets are or underneath there, you may have to do each individual piece. So just get set your first one, probably cut each individual one. That way you can get your height just right up to your cabinet, okay? Whatever works out best for you in your kitchen. Okay, now as you can see, our first wall is complete. I'm gonna give it about above average grade at this point for ease of application. Now, we are gonna finish these walls here and here. I went ahead and started these, and I also pre kind of started to get the adhesive where you just barely see it to make it a little easier and to save a little time. Now, we're gonna finish these like I say, and now, hey, make sure at the end of the video you stay tuned for things we have learned segment. We're gonna talk about what we learned from this product, and if it's a thumbs up, and if it really will save you time and money. So let's get started on the second wall. All right, so as you can see, our backsplash is finished and it looks fantastic. All right, now some things we learned today. Number one, we put these over four by four ceramic tiles and they have a few curved edges here and there, some grout lines, so it was a little challenging, but I think it turned out really well. I personally think that maybe a flat wall, a painted or unpainted wall would be the best for this. Simply clean your wall, sand it a little bit, and you're ready to go. Also, the adhesive on the back, it was a little trickier than we thought to get those off. It took a little longer, so we kind of cheated and got 15 to 20 tiles ready to go from the corner ahead of time. So that helped us out. And also, when you're working around a window like this, it can, it can cause a little bit of a little panic at first, but just keep your patience, stick with it, and I believe it'll turn out really good for you. Now, the front coating, that clear plastic coating that I took off in the beginning when you put your tiles up, when you're peeling that off, it tears real easy. So make sure you get all that off completely. You don't want to stick your next tile up on that and stick to that clear plastic because that would be a real pain in the rear. So 
you don't want that to happen. All right, so I think that's it. These are the Art 3D uh, gray brick peel and stick backsplash tiles. Check them out on Amazon.com for $25.99 for a box of six. All right, there's a direct link to Amazon in the product description below, so that should help you out. If this video helped anybody out, please give it a big thumbs up, share, comment, and as always, please subscribe. Well, that'll do it for me today. As always, I'm the Perk Man, and I'll see you next time on Perk Man Product Reviews.